Hey, what's going on everyone? Try to Thrive here with part two of the new Arctic Animal Showcase series little thing. It's, I don't know, it's not really a series, but anyway, it's a four part, I guess, yeah, it's a four part little series where we are going to be taking a look at each of the brand new animals in every video and doing an in-depth look at them, um, going off like a structure of like an order of things to do, like first we're going to take a look at the two different genders, full adults, you know, and then eventually the babies, and we're going to check them out, uh, experiencing their enrichment items, and then um, so on and so forth. And so, um, in the previous episode we did the polar bear, and now in this episode we are doing the doll shape. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and begin. Oh, actually, first thing before I do, as you can see, I have built this lovely little, um, doll sheep exhibit. I just put it together in like 20 minutes and now I'm ready to do this. Um, I think it looks actually pretty good and there's something really interesting I discovered about the doll sheep uh, when making, when preparing for this video. And I guess we'll talk about it when we get to it. So yeah, let's just actually, let's just get to it. And here is the beautiful new ram itself, the doll sheep. So gorgeous. Turns out this really is truly the black horse of the pack as it, a lot of people are really loving this animal. It just, it is really something special to the game as it's quite unique right now and when I say unique I mean very unique here's the really awesome thing about the doll sheep and I just like everyone were wondering this before the um, pre pack pre launch of the pack basically it's a mount it's it's a mountain sheep of course right we all know that you know it high ele high ele sorry high elevation climber um, but the big question was, was it going to be able to make its way ar across the rocks just like all the other animals? Because if so, if it was like that, it would be very limited. It would not look like a, an actual mountain sheep because, well, a lot of the animals in the game can quite easily get stopped by rocks. But this thing, oh my gosh, it is a true rock climbing beast in this game. And it is really unique because it has an extra ability to actually go around any any kind of rock and just... So, it really, they actually managed to keep it for what it is. It will actually climb its way around any kind of high elevation rock. And I'll show you right now. Here is this like really simple, but lots of rocky um, kind of mountain I built for it. And if I go in the heat maps, as you can see, it, it can make its way all the way around it, relatively. There's a few parts it can't, but it's so much, so much to um, roam. Now you might think maybe, how do you know that's just with this animal well i'm going to quickly bring in a springbok and this is pretty much also where we're going to go ahead and do the animal comparison um because the springbok well of course is not nearly similar to this it's one of the closer animals i could find because they're both small ungulates of their continental region they're both um you know they're both grazers and just i don't know they both the springbok was just like the first thing that popped in mind so i'm going to go ahead and bring it over and here's our boy, the Springbok. As you can see, um, somewhat similar. I mean, it's they're far, they're far, they're they're quite apart from each other. But in, anyway, size-wise, they're similar. Um, as you can see, traversable terrain is not nearly as possible as it would be with the doll sheep. Therefore, proving the fact that the doll sheep has this power over other animals which just makes sense it was born to be a rock climber and i'm so so unbelievably grateful frontier have successfully taken the extra time to make this a proper in-game rock climber because could, they could have easily just treated it like every other animal and have it be very limited to rock climbing and you from a you know you wouldn't actually be able to tell that exactly you just have to sit there and watch it for a while to realize how boring it would be, but it's not. They really did it, and it, it it's amazing. So, I'm going to get rid of the springbok now. Let's go ahead and take a look at the female. And here is the female sheep. Same um, body shape, of course, as the male, but the antlers, or sorry, the horns are the substantial difference. Much smaller, but that's what you basically expect in nature most of the time. Anyway, though, these guys just look so good. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and bring go to a different position here, but as a guest, from here, I mean, just look at that. Can you imagine if this was a real zoo? How cool of a guest viewing experience would this be? I'm not gonna, not to toot my own horn here, but I think the exhibit actually came out really good for these guys. It looks so cool just sitting back here and watching them make their way up there. Gorgeous. Can you get out of my way? F you. Sorry, excuse my language. I didn't even say it. But anyway, um, yeah, this, it just looks so good. And you know what? We need to look a little bit longer at the, 
um, doll sheep. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and shut up for a bit, and we're just going to watch some nice footage of these animals making their way around, and then we'll go check out the baby. And here's the baby doll sheep. Oh, it's so cute. And it has just vanished. All right, now here it is again. Um, the sounds it makes are so cute. Oh, just listen to that little one. Now, I said this in my video when we talked about when we analyzed the doll sheep showcase video. I said I'd name one of them Sean. Even though it's the female, I really don't care. Um, I probably even spelled that right. Um, but I said I'd do it, because, I mean, it's pretty obvious why. Um, if you don't understand, well, then I'm sorry you don't understand. Anyway, though, the baby sheep is just so cute. I don't know what's cuter, the baby um, sheep or a baby polar bear. It's, it's really difficult to say. The sounds the baby sheep is for sure cuter. I can at least say that. Um, they're so adorable. Honestly, when you look at this, you'd think it's just like a regular lamb. I really didn't... I really, I really wouldn't think... Like, if, I, if they, if Frontier sent out this picture, I'd instantly, instantly be thinking, okay, we're getting petting zoos, but this ain't no regular petting zoo sheep. It's just awesome. And we got two of them. I just, wow, I just realized the second one over there. Oh, I, I, oh my god, I swear to you guys. I did not even see this one. Oh, they're so cute. Um, yeah. Now, before we make it to the last thing... Um, oh, actually, one, one more thing to mention about the baby sheep. Now, I saw this in the video. This is probably something they just set up, but I really i am curious to see. I had a bit of an idea that perhaps the babies, because this is just something I'm guessing happens in real life, the adult, the babies are forced to stay near the adults during nighttime or anywhere, anytime they're sleeping, because obviously they don't want them to fall over a cliff while they're sleeping. That'd be terrifying. Um, and... We saw something like that in the analysis video, and I'd like to see if that's possible here. I'm not going to take the time to really look for it, but if anyone else ever catches it, please let me know, and I'd love to. And I know for sure it's worth finding, but it may not even be something a part of the game. But anyway, go anyway though. Getting back to next, the next thing we're going to do is um actually bring in another male. And I'd like to see them headbutt. That's something we actually saw in the trailer, and I really just want to see it. Um, and then after that, we're going to move on to things like food, uh, food, water, and all the enrichment. And then eventually, because we've already gotten a comparison with the Springbok, I'm just going to go ahead and throw in a Predator, and we're going to see what happens. I'd love to see if they defend themselves against something. Something. So it's going to go. we're going to go ahead and bring in another male. While I currently wait for the Rams to start headbutting, um, I actually might as well go ahead and show them eating. It's kind of cool how they all just group together like this and eat. Um, now, one reason why they may not be headbutting is because one of them is already the alpha, but I don't see any way around it because as soon as you put another one in, one is already uh, the alpha. I, I just don't know. I think eventually I just have to wait for one of them to gain enough confidence to just start fighting, and I really don't know. But I know it's in the game, and I'm going to wait for it. And if I end up catching them drinking water, which honestly, it's not really important enough to show. I mean, we know how, you should know how they do it. Basically, they'll walk right up to the edge, put their head down, and drink water. Just as usual. So I guess it's not really entirely worth showing, but at least you got to see the meat. Anyway, though, after they're, after they're done headbutting, if I can ever find it, we're going to take a look at the new enrichments. Speaking of that drinking footage, here it is.
got some laying down action here. Nothing super exciting. So basically what I've tried to do to get these guys to fight is I've gotten many males in here now. And it, the game even told me due to the off ratio of males and females, the males will start fighting. Um, but I have yet to actually see that happen. And um, I'm practically determined. I, we, know that, we know they can fight. I've been waiting for like... Um, Oh god, I, I don't even know how long I've been waiting for now, but it feels like it's been a while, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna hopefully I'll cut to it, and if I don't, then I guess I wasn't able to find it. After, it was about now 20 minutes I've been waiting, uh, still nothing, and um, strangely enough, here's, here's the weird thing, they are suffering injuries from fighting, but I'm not seeing any fighting, so I, I just don't know what to expect. Maybe, I mean, this is still all fresh. I mean, all of this just came out this morning. I, maybe they just have yet to fully implement the new animation. I mean, obviously, obviously they have it. They can fight. We've seen footage of them fighting. They're getting injured. The game has warned me they will fight. I just actually have yet to see it in my own screen. But like I said, perhaps it's just something they're still working on or they forgot to implement. There's a lot of mistakes I've spotted with this DLC. For example, one of these guys is made, uh, right here, no, 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 him. one of these guys, for some reason, when I went to mates, it said, oh, here we go, I'm able to have mates as a beta animal, that could mean a few things, perhaps, I mean, maybe this, in general, all the animals are still in a bit of an, see, there we go, again, an wait, what's this, oh, I thought he was dead, um, see, another sheep was taken away because it was injured, you can see there, all the males are getting injured, so they are fighting, we're just not seeing them actually fighting. It's just we're getting the effects of it. So, like I said, maybe to, maybe that actual animation of them headbutting is simply slipped the launch, and hopefully they're hopefully they'll add it in soon. But uh, I I really just want to see it. Oh well, though we have seen them swim now. We have seen them eat and drink, and I, this whole entire area is absolutely full of kids and full adults. So now it's time we check out some other things like the enrichments. And here is the doll, one of the doll sheep males, checking out the new toy enrichment. It's so funny for some reason to me, as they carry that, ex it almost looks like an exercise ball around, like a small one you'd use to lift. Really, it's the equivalent of lifting a weight. Um, that's so, that's so cool. I love it. I guess I got footage of these guys interacting with this. It's a shame I couldn't find the fighting animation, but I really think it's just not a part of the game yet. Though, despite the fact the game knows it, it, it was supposed to have it, it it's weird. Um, but anyway, though, the last thing we're going to check out is Predator. We're going to bring in a Predator. I'll, I'll keep it theme-wise. I think I'm going to bring in um, a Timber Wolf, and we're going to see what happens. Alright, the wolf is in. Um, at first I was actually going to do the arctic wolf, but we'll be talking about that in the next episode. Um, but anyway though, uh, it already, the game has already warned me, here's a predator in here, this ain't going to be good. I'm very, very curious to see if the sheep will defend themselves. I honestly doubt it, but it would be really cool to see. Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just going to record all of this. What the? Oh, honestly, it made like a set. Oh my Jesus, that's freaky. Look at that. Oh my god stomach much? Anyway. Ugh. God, that's creepy looking. It's a, it's a anthropomorphic wolf that wants to be a model. Oh. Oh my god, you just killed... Damn. Just killed the baby. Just killed the baby. Why? Okay. Is it not possible for it to kill the male? For the adults? No, it should be able to. Okay, so apparently watching baby sheep die wasn't enough for me, and so I've decided to throw in the grizzly bear. Because for a while, the, the timber wolf just kept killing the babies, and that was it. I think size-wise, the, the doll sheep were just too much for it, and so I would be very very upset and surprised if, it, if that was the same case as the grizzly bear, but I highly doubt it. This thing would realistically slaughter every single thing in this exhibit. Um... Very interesting to see what happens, but uh, also it's kind of funny though. With the wolf around, the every uh, every sheep was just scrambling like crazy. Okay, so it has. Okay, that's exactly what I expected. And again, it 
kills the baby. Why? I don't know. No! Bad bear. Do they only kill the babies? This is just sad. I mean, I know they're a bit overpopulated. Oh, can you imagine? He just jumps off the cliff and pounces on top of that one in the water, smushing it into the water's surface. Or, sorry, the water's ground. Jesus, I'll be dark. But I swear to you, all it does, all they do is just kill the babies. That's... Okay, I think we've watched enough of that today. So anyway, guys, that is it. That is the con that is my very obviously unprofessional, in-depth look at the doll's sheep. I've had so much fun with this video, despite it not going perfectly as I would have wanted. But hey, no video ever really does. Um, I got, I'm just having a lot of fun with this. I'm really excited to get to the Arctic Wolf and Reindeer tomorrow. Um, but now, what are what are my thoughts on the doll sheep? Well. As a lot of people have said, of course I have to agree, the doll sheep is very easily the um, black horse of this pack. It's just so much about it that just screams exciting, despite it just being a mountain sheep. I mean, it's very unique in the game. Oh, look at the uh, beautiful Aurora Borealis. Um, oh yeah, it's amazing. Um, but. It just, it's such a unique and incredible animal to have. I was at first, just like a lot of people, kind of like, oh, okay, that's, you know, it's a, it's a sheep. Where's our, musk, where's our muskox or arctic fox or whatever, but I am more than actually happy. I'm happy I got this over any of those animals because it's just so surprisingly interesting. I, I love, my absolutely favorite thing is how they can travel their way across the rocks unlike any other animal in the game. Really happy Frontier put the time into that, and uh, following up with my con my rankings, I mean, this is only the second video, but in the first video, towards the end, I mentioned that I would be ranking every new animal as we went along, and so obviously I couldn't rank the polar bear with the polar bear, you know, just polar bear, but now that I have the doll sheep, I'm, I've had a difficult time trying to pick between the two I like more, but at the end of it, to be completely honest, I actually like the doll sheep more. I really do. There's something now. While the polar bear is a super unique animal in and of itself, it's, it feels very unique in this game as it should. It is also still just another bear, but something about the doll sheep just feels so special, so surprising, so unique all at the same time. And I just, I, and it feels fun to build an exhibit for them, watching them being one of the only animals in the game to, or sorry, the only animal in the game to traverse around it properly like it would in real life. It's just, it's incredible. I love you doll sheep, um, you are for sure at the current moment my favorite of the two we've seen so far, as we hit the two tomorrow, which won't be until towards the end of the day like today, we would, can finally, I can finally finish up my rankings of the four animals, as I'm kind of going back and forth between a lot of them, I, I don't know for sure how the arctic wolf and reindeer will do, but I'm excited to get to them. Anyway, I'll try to make the next two videos a bit more professional, this one was a little bit more like I said before, unprofessional. Apologies for that. I just, I'm having fun, and, uh, you know, nothing's ever perfect. But anyway, though, guys, thank you all so- Ooh, poop. Just, just poop. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching this video. Please remember to like button, subscribe, stay tuned for more Planet Zoo content. I'm also going to be trying the brand new scenario maps. Oh, wow, he's going everywhere. Try out the brand new scenario maps. Not, um, tomorrow, but on, uh, what was it? Thursday. Thursday, I will check out the brand new scenario maps, do some videos on that. I have some really cool things in the works, a lot of things, all the way from a new Rexford Zoo video, a new Big Cat, uh, well, I'm going to start a whole new Big Cat Sanctuary series, um, I am even going to try and recreate a famous movie scene that, uh, I think I'll keep a secret for now, but it's, it's going to require me to absolutely bring the best of my best creativity, even though I'm very new to all of this. And, um, still got lots of practice to do. I'm going to absolutely try and create a very hmm, interesting movie scene. But anyway, though, again, for the last time, thank you all so much for watching, and uh, stay tuned for more. Bye-bye.